I've always wanted to write a good botanical horror movie, uh, novel. And last summer, an idea hit me. And I'm on about page 200. Uh, it's a murder thriller sci-fi horror movie um, called From a Crevice in Hell. Back in the 60s when I was a kid, I loved monster movies and I subscribed to a very popular magazine called Famous Monsters Magazine. They always had little advertisements for uh, things like Venus flytraps. And my collection just started to grow and grow and I became addicted. And people always wanted to know where they could buy carnivorous plants and there really just wasn't anywhere available. So that's why I started California Carnivores. We started uh, back about 1989, and we were the first carnivorous plant nursery in the world to be open to the public. We house probably the largest collection of carnivorous plants in the world, somewhere over a thousand different varieties. The main genuses that we grow and that are popular in the hobby are, of course, Venus flytraps, always number one. American pitcher plants are very, very popular tropical pitcher plants, and there's several of them that get large enough to eat rats and other animals in the wild. The, another huge group of plants are the sundews, and this was the plant that Charles Darwin once wrote, that he cared more about sundews than the origin of all the species of life on Earth. Venus flytraps are Dionea, tropical pitcher plants, the genus name is Nepenthes, sundews, it's Drosera, American pitcher plants are Saracinia, butterworts are Pinguicula, bladderworts are Utricularia. A lot of these plants take a long time to grow. If we were to grow flytraps from seed, it would take about three, four to five years to produce a mature plant. Some plants like sundews can be mature in a couple of years, but other ones like pitcher plants, we don't usually start selling them till they're about three years old. So this is our propagation room. Right here you can see seeds of American pitcher plants that I just sown this, uh, this winter. These are ones that are distributing here too this year next to them, and you can see there's a little, that's its first little leaf, and that's, the, that's a trap. Carnivorous plants, no matter where they come from around the world, they usually come from very similar habitats. And these plants, through various methods, from sticky glue-like traps to pitchers that contain digestive juices and have nectar that lures insects and drugs them, to Venus fly traps that have trigger hairs where the leaves actually snap shut on their prey, they've evolved to catch these insects and animals and turn them into nutrients. I've got some mealworms here, delicious mealworms. These actually don't do anything for the closing of the trap. What they do is they force the insect to get to the nectar that's right on the inside. So we're going to give it a shot here. We'll drop the worm in. And now it's going to take about five or six days of putting acids and enzymes in between the surface of the leaf. And uh, it just slowly dissolves it and sucks up all the fertilizers it needs. So this is an American pitcher plant pitcher, and I'm going to do a pitcher autopsy now. At least that's what we call it. We're going to cut it open and see all the bugs that this pitcher caught just in one season. And you can see whole insects, flies, and yellow jackets up at the top here, all the way down to broken down bug parts that looks almost like coffee grounds. And she's pulling all the fertilizer it needs right into the leaf the same way your stomach pulls food into you. After people get over the initial attraction of the fact that these plants are carnivorous, is that they're beautiful. A lot of these plants look like they are from other worlds with incredible coloration and shapes. And these plants don't just sit there. In the summertime, it's very amusing to sit there and see flies buzzing around them and getting caught. Some people, especially kids, you know, they'll give their plants names and hand feed them. It's almost like having a pet that you don't have to take out for a walk. 